What's up guys, just making another real estate video. So um, we are going to be doing um, coverage on commercial real estate. Once again, I'll have to say this again, and um, I've said this in the beginning of all my real estate videos, I would not buy real estate right now. I think the market is overpriced. The cap rates are very low. Um, so I would highly recommend to my audience to check out crypto check out other asset classes. It's obviously very important to have a diverse portfolio of investments. And eventually when prices come down, I highly recommend getting in real estate. It's one of the best asset classes to own. And um, let's start from there. So I do not own any commercial real estate. Um, it's kind of a regret of mine. Um, my background is residential. I own um, houses in California and Vegas. And when the next recession happens and when prices come down the next buying opportunity i plan on doing a lot more commercial real estate deals i've actually hold a, a california broker's license and i've actually done um, a couple of commercial real estate transactions purchasing and selling so i do have some background <clears throat> and i've also worked for the brokerage marcus and millichap one of the largest commercial real estate brokerages in the united states um, so going from there, I highly recommend LoopNet and why LoopNet just um, it's free. Um, it's probably one of the easiest to use. It gets a good amount of listing and it's a great way to practice and kind of start to educate yourself about the real estate market because um, you can start out with homes, but eventually I highly recommend if you have the ability, you, you even if you decide not to move forward with a transaction, at least like look at the market, do some research and understand. And the way I would do it is um, I wouldn't look at properties for lease. You could, if you like, um, especially if you have a business idea, you can come on here and look at properties for lease. Um, but if not, um, just look at properties to buy. And I would actually look at multiple asset classes. So uh, look at apartment buildings. I think that's a good way to start, but I would also just look at like shopping centers, some maybe, uh, industrial with Amazon. Um, industrial is not a bad asset class. Um, and what's funny is I'll actually tell you my background. I actually worked in mobile home parks. So I worked in some apartments, but in some mixed use, but I want to say 80% of the deals I worked at when I was working at Marcus and Millichap was mobile home parks. And believe it or not, they're great investments. <clears throat> and I'll be making another video to go into that. And what I'll do is, um, I'll make like a, a walkthrough video for each asset class, like apartment buildings and <coughs> sorry guys, my voice is killing me, but um, so I'll do a walkthrough of each kind of asset class. So that way you guys can kind of learn and kind of uh, uh, figure out how to uh, look at commercial real estate. Um, but also if you guys don't mind uh, when I'm going to be posting these videos, um, leave some comments of like stuff you want to cover, maybe markets. Um, in the beginning, I'm going to just cover the California market just because I know that very well, but I've also studied Las Vegas, so I will study Vegas and I plan on doing Dallas. I have a friend that lives in Dallas, Atlanta, um, possibly Miami. Um, and to be honest, maybe Washington, I like tax free states. So that's why I like Texas, Nevada, Washington, and Florida and California. I, I live here. Um, uh, I have one other friend of mine who lives in Ohio and I wouldn't mind doing some investments in the Midwest too, just cause I grew up there. I grew up in Indiana. Um, but I think that's another great place and I'm going to do international deals too. I will. Um, and you can use LoopNet to do, to look at international deals, but I'm sure there's other brokerages as well. So leave your comments. Um, this is all going to be kind of like a learning process and, uh, hopefully, uh, we can create a network of people that are interested in commercial real estate. And uh, I'll be hopefully doing one real estate video a week on residential, one on commercial. And let's just be honest, you, all, you guys are all probably here because of crypto. So the channel will still stay uh, primarily crypto focused. But um, if you have some time today, I would go on LoopNet, look at properties at your area. If you have some extra time, maybe leave some comments for ideas. Um, but the way I'll start is basically once a week doing uh, just looking at different property types. And like I said, I'll... I'll basically do one commercial real estate video a week and one residential. And to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it, and like I said, leave your comments, I might actually go up to three commercial because I can do different types where residential is just one type. Um, but anyways, uh, 
Let me know your com comments on this. Please check out uh, YouTube and, uh, sorry, YouTube. Check out LoopNet and uh, uh, be on the lookout for some future real estate investment videos. And we're going to be using LoopNet to kind of look at the deals and kind of talk about it. And hopefully, if you got any questions, um, one thing I did go over, cap rates, if you don't know, um, leave a comment. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of content on YouTube that should answer your questions. But if not, I'm going to make my own and kind of go into everything. So hopefully you like this content. Let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys soon.